run out of things to say, and I'm going to start calling you things like prairie dogs. And you're just going to have to learn to love it. That's my, that's my advice for yous. Love it. Love it. Um, thank you for all your comments on my Astrid video. It seems like you guys like that character, so I'm going to put up more of those in the coming weeks. Um, I have some new ones and some more old ones to show you before the new ones come. Um, and tomorrow I am going to put out a new e-card. Uh, you guys saw my one. Um, my phone's going off. Um, you guys saw my birthday one that I gave you before. And tomorrow there will be a new one for you to... It's for you, but then you can send it to your friends, too, if you want. And spread the love and joy throughout the land. Because I'm a cheese ball, and so are you. I, I think you are. I believe it. Um, so I was having a lovely lunch today with someone, and I was discussing art. And I've talked with you guys about art before, and many of you have asked to see some of my paintings, uh, the ones that are in my apartment. So I thought that I would do that today and show you guys those. Do you like this idea? All right, so I'm going to begin with the one that's usually behind my head uh, while I'm talking to you guys. Um, here it is. It's kind of hard to see the stuff on the computer with the camera, but we're going to try, right? There's that one. Um, it's sort of done in the pre-Raphaelite style, and she was originally going to be stroking the tail of a merman, because I'm obsessed with all things mer, mermen, mermaids, mer puppies, whatever. I'm into it. Um, so that's how that started, but I never, I never found the face of the merman that I wanted to paint. One day, perhaps, I will find that perfect merman face, but until then, this painting's gonna stay like that. I'm a big fan of, um, Rossetti and Waterhouse and Draper. Uh, some of my favorite painters are John Singer Sargent and, um, Egon Schiele, and I have a soft spot for Mr. Salvador Dali because he's so quirky and quixotic, and he makes a special appearance in one of my favorite books, The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay. That, my friends, is going to come into play later when I'm showing you other art. Ready? It's a mystery right now. Soon it will be solved. Um, here is another one. This is the first painting I ever painted. It's a Rossetti ripoff. Um... I think a great way of learning how to paint is to take a painting that you like and uh, try and figure out how that person painted your pa that painting that you like and sort of figure out why you liked it and what's special about it. Um, so that's what I did. I'm a self-taught painter and I, and I took a Rossetti painting and I changed it a little bit. She, I think in his, she's carrying a pomegranate and, uh, cause this is a, I think it's called Proserpine, um, based on the myth about Persephone going into the underworld and eating a, eating, um, a pomegranate, seven pomegranate seeds, I believe is what she ate, and she had to stay down in Hades for a real long time. Um, but I changed it to a feather to go along with my friend Leslie's book. Remember I told you about that? It's a, it's a raven feather. Um, yeah, so that was my first one. This one's really big, so I'm going to have to back up to show it to you. Here you go. This is the style that I was doing right before I stopped painting. Um, I haven't actually painted in a couple of years. I guess I've been cheating on my painting with my acting and my writing. Um, maybe I should do a painting tutorial for you guys, and that would get me back in the saddle of painting again. Would you be interested in that? I could do a painting, maybe a small painting, probably sped up, because watching the whole thing would be literally like watching paint dry. Um, and then I could show you what I know how to do, and then people could probably post things about what they know how to do. So those are the three of mine that I'm going to show you today. I have many others, but those are the ones that you get to see today. And then... Um, one of the other paintings that I have in my house is, um, this is the, the mystery about the amazing adventures of Cavalier and Clay. That book is about two boys in the 40s who create comic books, among other things. 
Um, but the comic book that they create is in the comic book. And then after the book became popular and won the Pulitzer Pl Prize, the Pulitzer Prize, it's a little known prize, um, whatever. <laughs> after that, they made it into a real comic book. Um, so I went to Comic-Con a few years ago and I was able to buy one of the original pages. I showed it to you like that because uh, you, with the glass, you, can, you can't see anything with the glare from here. I tried it. I tried it. Um, so there's my art. Uh, if you have any questions about art or about my art, please let me know. I don't, I've never showed anyone my art on a vlog before, so I don't know how these things work. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and maybe I can do another one answering the questions. Um, but in the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow with the e-card that I'm sending to you. Uh, and um, I'm going to go and have a really nice rest of my weekend. You guys do it too, okay? Fist kisses. Uh, peace kisses. Peace, peace, peace. Butterfly kisses. Butterflies. Butterflies. Bye, guys.